You're welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. Nigeria has more than 13 million out-of-school children, and that number could grow with no fewer than six states closing schools due to insecurity. Schools have been shot in Sokoto, Zamfara, Kano, Katsina, Ninja, and Yobe State following mass abductions at schools. What's the motive of the kidnappers? Is it just ransom or are they against Western style education like Boko Haram? Well, security analyst Mukai Lakinshimoyi is on the phone to help us answer that. Good morning, Mr. Akinshimoyi. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Over the weekend, we saw the president say that the kidnappings we're experiencing right now in the country is an attack on education. And we saw the Nigerian Union of Teachers just this morning uh, mention that the kidnappings basically is to cripple the educational system. The question remains what we think might be the motive of these kidnappings of school children. Well, in my own opinion, I don't think it's, uh, it's uh, all about education alone. They, because they come, I mean, the ransom being paid in, res, in respect of various crimes, uh, kidnapping, this and all over the world, is what is attracting people into that business. The way our manner is going on is now turning to lucrative sideline industries. I don't think it's attack on education. In my own opinion, no. This is deliberate something. Some are making money out of it. And we need to do something about this in urgently. Otherwise, the old nonsense will spread across. Okay. Um, <coughs> still talking um, motives. I, I, I want to go further on the same uh, topic. You know, if it is really about, you know, an attack on education or not. Um, we, we've... <laughs> You know, over time, we've, you know, tried to differentiate between Boko Haram and um, I swap no and uh, the bandits and the kidnappers and the headers um, and the likes. There's, there's different names that they've all been called. Um, if, if the government says that this is an attack on education, does this, you know, imply that uh, the bandits now and the kidnappers, you know, have the same ideology as Boko Haram? <laughs> Hello? Can yes, I, can go I ahead, please. Yes. Okay, it's not that if, they are, that if they have the same ideology with Boko Haram. No. These are armed robbers, kidnappers. You know what? It's not, it's what we're saying is against education, it's against education, we begin to reason in another way. We should do our best to put this nonsense to stop. But I don't believe it. it's not education something. No. Because if you look at it, they should put the same position of the bandits who are carrying out all this rubbish. If it's after education, it will be worse than that. It's pure financial issue. They got compensated. And hey, as, as a result, they keep doing it. So the best thing to do is investigate this thing thoroughly. Because take note, if, if serious action is not taken against this, this thing might spread to the south as well. I'm telling you. Okay, well, well I think a, a lot of Nigerians have those fears already. Um, it was one of the things that we saw in the news this morning, that is from the Inspector General of Police saying parents should be more proactive and do what you know, is necessary to protect their children because the Nigerian government cannot protect all schools. Um, quickly uh, also share your, your views on that. Do, do you think it might be wishful thinking you know, for you know, Nigerians expecting that the government will be able to protect every student across the country? Do you think you know, that's okay. even... You know, possible. Okay. You know what? It is the responsibility of the government. So IG should know what he's talking about. Look, if I establish a school, let's start from this. Uh, establish a, a structure in place, children are there, 
you get the security guard, right? Then when, by the time we got to this stage, we are armed men. We attacked the school, kidnapped about 100, as even, even if it's 50, how come? What, what time and which way could they use in conveying them into the forest? This needs proper investigation. Security is everybody's responsibility. That's it. You mentioned earlier that you don't think this is an attack on education and that it's, you know, a purely business venture. You know, criminals using this to exploit money uh, and extort money from parents and the government. But what do you think about how ransom payments seem to, you know, continue to fuel the cycle of kidnapping? Because it's like arming them with uh, more funds, more resources to, to procure more arms, to, to, you know, execute more kidnappings, don't you think? Uh, so kidnapping is something, when this started a couple of years ago, about 10 years ago or so, it started gradually, but people are paying. You know, initially they started on various individuals. Before you become a target of kidnapper, there must be something, no smoke without fire. They don't go out and they kidnap anybody now. But why they are after school children is because that was basically the responsibility of the government to pay the ransom. They might stop from this and start uh, attacking staffs of corporate bodies. But that's why I said we should take this matter serious. Honestly. All right. M Mr. Akin Shemoy, this issue of ransom payments has, has been a topic for debate. Lots of people, you know, who have had other experts uh, on security come up to say they, they denounce ransom payments because, you know, like I mentioned, that it will fuel, you know, kidnappers and empower them to do more. But on the other hand, when ransom is not paid, you find that these people are killed. So what really should yeah. the government's stance be regarding ransom payments to rescue okay. and release the students? Okay. Uh, what? Yes, if because the ransom are not paid, they might kill them. Yeah, I know, and I won't support that. But let's look at the root cause of all these things. Don't allow anybody to say it's an attack on education. No. Kidnapping business, kidnapping business. It's not an attack on education, otherwise it will have been worse than that. What we should look at, those places that were involved, they should investigate this thing thoroughly. There might be, it might be an issue of conspiracy between the staff of the school and the kidnapper. Okay. So because the motive behind, the motive behind this is money to, for them to collect the ransom. Now government to design it, design a way where if ransom is to be paid, I is going to be paid, or the people will not escape. Okay. That's it. But not the way they are paying it. They pay ransom and they deny that they don't pay. It's a serious matter, I'm telling you. And I, I, I don't trust our uniformed men from all this nonsense. Honestly speaking, you see one day, one day, by the grace of God, they'll be exposed. Okay, well, well hopefully, hopefully with further investigations, these things can happen. Um, as you've said, ma mass kidnapping of students didn't start today. We uh, know about the Chibok abduction in 2014 and, of course, the abduction of more than 100 in Dapchi, Yobe State, three years um, um, ago. One difference this time around is that the recent kidnappers haven't come out with a clear motive for their action. Unlike Boko Haram, which have heard Western education, this year alone, no fewer than 383 students have been kidnapped in three incidents. Yeah. Uh, February 17th, uh, 27 students were among the 42 persons taken by gunmen from the uh, Government Science College in Kagara, Niger State. They were later released. Nine days later, the 26th of February, 317 students were kidnapped at the Government Girls Secondary School, Jangebe, in Zamfara State. And on Friday, 39 people were abducted 
from the Federal College of Forestry Mechanization in Mandu, uh, Kaduna State. Just yesterday, we learned of another kidnapping of students and teachers from a Universal Basic Education Primary School, also in Kaduna yeah. State. Um, now, now mm -hmm. I want to, you know, ask 618 schools, uh, uh, Dr. Um, Aki Shemui, um, 618 no. schools means hundreds of thousands of students being sent no. back home. Doesn't this increase the chances of, you know, the, the insurgents and the criminals uh, using these people or, you know, seeing more idle young Nigerians to recruit and to indoctrinate? Okay, hello? Yes, can you hear us? Can I go ahead? Yes, go ahead. Okay, I mean, this thing, uh, this issue requires serious, in the, uh, listen, it's an intelligence issue. You know what? Even the kidnappers themselves, they are security conscious because they know, before carrying out all this nonsense, they must have thought of security implication and how to go about carrying it out. But what I say is government to, to do something seriously that's to prevent this. And in case of attack, why? Then they should, they should be able to get other people involved. Honestly, to, to me, as far as I'm concerned, it's a simple issue. It, it, it's an intelligence matter. But we let us forget about uh, the uh, after education. No, it's, no, they are after the ransom, and the way it's being paid is what is attracting other people to engage in it. Okay, so Mr. Akisha, we have to prevent it. From from what you're saying, right, you, you you believe that it's not an attack on education, they simply are kidnapping for ransom. Yes. But the offshoot yes. of that is that education is affected. Over 600 schools yes. shut down means that children who should be learning within the four walls of the classroom at home or doing something else. Okay. That then affects education, doesn't it? You know what? We should, you know, we should try and prevent it. We cannot just shut down school. Same people because of few criminals. What we do is listen because intelligence something. Look, it's simple. I'm telling you, let us know which time they carry out that kidnapping. Then how many are they? Because it's not easy when you come and kidnap at least 30, 20 people of 100 students at the same time in the school, then tell me, which type of work could you bring? Yes, do, do you put them inside Caterpillar or what? And then the road, this needs to be planned properly. Hmm. So in case they come, there will be a way to counter attack them and prevent this thing. So, uh, with a uh, cell phone all over the places, you press a button, then the entire road there will be blocked. Then so, where are the kidnappers going? So you're saying that they, are, they, they are enter, insiders. Are you saying that they are insiders in the government or, you know, in the states that are conniving in, with these kidnappers? Yes. Yes. That's my opinion. Yes. Because the way a man, the way he's been carried out, uh -uh. imagine. Went to a school compound and they are addressing students anyhow like that. They should check themselves. Okay, so I, I'm telling you. So to check this, do you then agree with uh, Atiku Abubakar when he says that uh, and ask President Muhammad Buhari to declare a state of emergency on education? Oh, you, you see, uh, uh, let me tell you, state of emergency, state of, uh, of emergency on education. I'm telling you, if they try that one, now, let me give you another example. What may follow? They'll be attacking people from corporate environment. You get me? Okay. Now, they want the staff of so, 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 or four or five staff of so, so, uh, of a corporate body. Uh -huh. 
ones that are kidnapped, whose responsibility to pay the ransom. The company they are working for, I'm telling you, what we should do, we should put stop to this thing. We can do it. They are not sincere with themselves. No, it's a serious security issue. But let me tell you, not everything about security we disclose on media. I'm telling you, my brother, it is easy to block this nonsense. So, I mean it. So why, so why do you think that, is, that isn't happening, or why do you think that hasn't happened? Pardon? So why, if, you, if you think it is easy, then why would you say that it still hasn't you know, been stopped? Uh, that what, please? Uh, you you just said it's it's easy from your analysis. It's it's easy to stop this. You know that is uh, going on. Yes. So I mean, what yes. I'm asking is why do you think it still hasn't stopped in the last couple okay. of years? Yes, because some people are, are making money out of this rubbish. I'm telling you, we can stop it. Ah, how many kidnappers do we have? We are, are they up to one thousand? We can stop it. Okay. We can stop it. We, we put certain measures in place. Uh, uh, that, that's what I don't want to discuss in public. There are certain measures we put in place. I bet you, any attempt, they'll be arrested and exposed. Okay. Mr. Uh, Mukaila Akinsamoyi, uh, security expert, yeah. thank you very much for your time on The Breakfast. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're moving now to continue the conversation on education, but yes. this time it's about a proposed strike. More on that after the break.